Let's talk about how scientists go through the process of gaining all that knowledge that they have. Well, when is scientific knowledge useful? Scientific knowledge is most useful when trying to understand the natural world. That is, scientific knowledge can be used to understand different phenomena and events that occur on the Earth and within our universe. This is because scientific knowledge is based on observations, inferences, and evidence or data gathered from scientific investigations. Scientific knowledge can only provide a limited understanding of other topics involving thought, however. This is because it's difficult to conduct scientific investigations on subjects such as art, philosophy, and religion. Those things relate to things like the supernatural, and they're based in aesthetics, and so it's a lot more difficult to conduct a scientific investigation on these subjects. Scientific knowledge can withstand the test of time because it's open to change as new evidence or data is discovered. Often, new data and evidence is gathered as a result of technological advancements, such as the telescope, the microscope, and satellites. In everyday life, people often use the word theory to describe an individual's guess, opinion, idea, or claim. In science, however, a theory is an explanation for some naturally occurring event or phenomena, and it requires extensive observations, experimentation, reasoning, and supporting evidence before it is accepted by the scientific community. Scientific theories such as the cell theory and the theory of evolution are examples of scientific knowledge. Scientific laws are descriptions of a specific relationship under given conditions in the natural world. Like scientific theories, scientific laws require extensive observations, experimentation, reasoning, and supporting evidence. But unlike scientific theories, scientific laws cannot be broken and they do not change. Scientific laws, such as the law of conservation of energy, Newton's laws, and the law of universal gravitation, have been proven to be without exception under certain stated conditions. People who have made contributions to scientific knowledge come from a variety of backgrounds, cultures, and time periods, and they have different talents, interests, and goals. Here are some of the scientists that have made major contributions to the field of science. You can see Archimedes. He was from Greece, a physicist, and he described how multiple forces can balance as they act on an object. Galen from Turkey. He was a medicine doctor, and he proposed that the brain controls the motions of the muscles through the nervous system. Lots of different scientists have contributed. Please take a look at the chart and pick some of the ones that you haven't seen before. Here are a few more. Well, hopefully that'll give you a quick overview of scientific investigations and all of the scientists that contributed to science as we know it today.